Do you have concerns, Matt, that the RNC made a mistake uh, by saying there were going to be so few debates considering that you have such a large field? Yeah, I think uh, you know the debate criteria and the debate format uh, should be troubling to high ones uh, because now we have put network executives, uh, quite frankly, in charge of winnowing the field instead of actual voters. Does that undermine Iowa's role? Uh, I believe it's something that, uh, that Iowans need to be aware of. Uh, it is of great concern to me, uh, especially <coughs> when you have a national polling average uh, being used. There's no value placed on time spent in Iowa. So from a campaign resource standpoint, with both dollars and candidate time, it makes more sense for a candidate to be in the green rooms in Washington, D.C., getting on cable news that Republicans watch, as opposed to going county seat to county seat, talking to 12 people at a time in a pizza ranch. So you look at the winner of the Iowa caucuses in 2012, uh, Rick Santorum, he's in danger of being cut out of the debates, even though you know, he didn't start fast. He didn't start at the top of the national polls four years and ago. It, and it happened very late. You know, I think back to the debate we hosted with ABC News in December of 2011, where they wanted to use a higher national polling average, and we advocated and were successful in actually having an Iowa polling average included. And Rick Santorum, because of that fact, at the time was at 5% in the polls, if we would have used a straight national average, he wouldn't have even been in that debate. Oh